road trip up the year. What are we now? January the 7th, are we? I've no watch, my watch broke again. But now, in here we are going. Come on, get in, get in, get in. So the last time we were here, it was the last week of September, September, October, November, December, January, four months ago. Four months ago. So that's a little bit of picking that has come on since then. So they're going to get a day's grass here, a bigger area than normal, and then back on the silage tomorrow to work our way down. Now, is this looking very dark? It's a dull day. Well, it's not overly dull, but it's cold. It came a rain last night with frost, so kind of a freezing rain, and the ground conditions are very bad. And these were kind of slipping and sliding coming over the road. It was uh, a slow move, they were mad for grazing all that ivy on the trees, so it was a little bit frustrating, so I didn't record any of it. But um, I'm glad to get them here, so they'll be here for the next week or so, maybe two weeks in all, with a bit of ground that's in it. And uh, we'll see how we get on. So yeah, I'm just looking at the condition of the cows. There's one cow that I'm a little bit concerned about. This blue lady here. She's a small bit runny, I think, on her manure. I'm going to keep an eye on her while I'm here. And then we'll see what the story is. I'll probably throw a bit of a dose into her. Herself and that short turn there. I'm keeping an eye on. But out from that, I'm happy enough. As I said in the last video, it was... A difficult few weeks with the rain. It's been a difficult year, but especially in the winter time, uh, with the wind and the rain, the hard frost is far better for these cattle than wet with cold wind behind them. So yeah, so that is the situation right now. I'm going to close my gate up, go back and uh, open up gaps and fix up my fencing in the last place, and. Uh, Get the power on here. So let's just have a little closer look at this lady. Now she seems to be fine. The calf, the cows are starting to dry off now. I've noticed that. I there's some of them that has fully weaned. I would say already. Now I haven't looked at them just yet. I like to get them, let them carry them through the winter or over the Christmas anyhow. So from now on in, I'll be watching to see is there any calf sucking on the cows. I think that lady over there has weaned her calf already. But even if they are sucking, the amount of milk is a way back. So uh, I should really close this gate while I'm here. Now, I'm glad to get them moved. I had them held up where they were for a little bit too long. All the good grass was gone and um, they were kind of anxious. I think that lady has dried up as well. But this is the one I'm concerned with now. It's not that she's thin or mad thin or anything. It's just, she's a forced calf heifer as well, so she's under that little bit of pressure. It's just that her tail is a bit dirty there. She was a bit loose coming over the road, but that happens when they're, when they're running. So a little scan through. Here you go, look at that, the vanity of them brushes. <laughs> so there's a little bit of a thaw today, it's not a mad thaw, it's going to come freezing again tonight I'm assuming. They're a little bit worse for wear having gone through that really wet spell but I'm hoping now things will improve. So that little bit of grass there now will help them and I will give them some nice silage now in the morning and that will keep them full, keep them full, keep them warm, keep them moving. Now that we're heading for spring and they start to soften up for the next calf. So they're very happy to get that bit of people. What's after coming up on my phone now? Auto save when battery is crucially low. Cancel that. I think this is going to die. If I cut off abruptly, I'll add a little video to it later on. Or tomorrow. But just a little walk through. 
There's a heifer now that's in nice condition. Tuesday the 9th of January. Now, like I said yesterday, my phone died and I couldn't get to finish the video. And I was also wrong with the date. Yesterday was the 8th of January. So it was a Monday, Monday the 8th. So I'm after feeding these here now and this morning, the little feckers had got through the wire and they were on the whole length of this field. So I was a little bit annoyed, but they're mad to get a little bit of silage in the mornings, so they came back. I had to do a little bit of ripping there with the fence and over here. What happened was this corner post here, I had a post lying again like this at a 45 trying to keep it because I didn't use my uh, my pigtail post, which I should have, I always do on corners. There's a corner there and I only had an ordinary plastic post so I had a second post upside down at a 45 and what happens is when the pressure's on it, it pops the post and they were all over the whole field. So it must have only happened this morning because I can tell from where the dung was made that they were sleeping over this side of the field. So they're starting to clean up now. You can tell now that it's been dry the last few days. They're fluffing up and they're starting to clean. So that real bad rainy weather look has gone. So where them cattle are there now is where they were sleeping last night. You can see there, they've flattened out there and they have their little beds made. And it's a nice dry bank here. So. There is exactly a bed, all flattened. So I like to see that. So as I say, they are dry, the weather has been dry, and they're starting to clean up and get fluffy looking, which is how I love to see them. So things are looking well. We're halfway, are we? No, we're not. But we're, we're tipping on nicely into January. And today is not as cold as yesterday. Even though we had a frost last night. Um, but there's a little bit of heat in that sun. I notice now that it's bright or not as dark around 5 o'clock in the evenings now. So there's that small little bit of a stretch in the evenings. So the sun is on its way up in the sky. And the heat hopefully will start to come. I know it's only January. And we have all of February and March. It'll be a husky month as well. But there's great drying in that breeze, that's all I know. I've seen the roads dry for the first time, I could really say since July, out from the little spell in September. So they're on that lovely first cut silage again. Now this place is a soft place. The last time, last winter they were in here, in around the same time actually, and they were underneath them trees. A big storm came, a flood of rain came, and they were all standing under them trees there, and they made a real poachy mess. But the best part about it is the bit of time, and it heals all that ground, so you would not know they were there at all when I came back the second time. Now they have, as I say, it's a little bit soft in here, given all the rain we have, it's actually not too bad at all. It has really dried out. In fact, if I wheel around, that's a cutaway bog there and when the floods really come high it kind of lakes up along here but it gets away fast so they're going to be on this for one more night as i say it's a little bit soft one more night i'm going to move and then behind me and maybe two more moves so there's this section and then two more sections in this field and then they'll be going back out that gate and into another place so it's two day moves on this area i think so they're full now from eating all the grass from yesterday and this morning and they're going to pack in that silage now and that will keep them sorted. How I'm getting on for water is we have a bit of a well down here. Water kind of runs out of here and down into that bog so a spring, a natural spring there so that's keeping them, that's keeping their thirst quenched while they're in here. So yeah. I'm very happy with how things are looking now at the minute. As for weaning, this lady here is still sucking her calf. We can see that there's uh, 
wet looking hairs around them teeth there so this lady is still sucking even she's in good condition you can see she's full no indentations there so she's okay no bother that's and um, bell the little rowan heifer's mother and um, it looks like lead cow or lead cow's daughter is still sucking her teeth are uh, the hairs around her teeth are wet looking as well so she has the little red bull calf where is he there he is beside her he's a little teeth and shit that fella but however he's still sucking um who else is that one i do definitely think has dried up what's that now that's a calf well creator this lady here this lady her hairs are dry i think she has dried her calf is not sucking her much though anymore and our bag is fairly empty I'm kind of glad now because she's a tinnish cow. Gallo, eh? Hey? She's a milky girl, this one. Her teeth are dry and they're dirty looking as well, so that lady has weaned. And where's her daughter? Where is her daughter? It's hard to tell the difference in them. That's the bullock, anyhow. That's the sun. In the sun. That's the full sister. I'm very pleased with that calf. That's a good calf. Now, where's Delty Bjog? This is her here. My smallest cow. Girl, what you think, huh? She looks to be dried up as well. Her bag is completely gone. So yeah, the belties are on the ball. They know what to do. They'll kick them calves off to keep themselves going through the winter. Mods are starting to look round and soften. She's a bit to go yet, obviously. And they all have a bit to go yet. So the first heifer, the first calf we're gonna have is a heifer that's going to calf. And she is that red lady there. And she is due the end of March, so we have January, February, March. Uh, ten weeks. Ten weeks. And hopefully we'll have lots of damn blue skies. So that is all the news. Having been through the first week of the new year, the cows are on the grass, they're on the silage, and on the move. So I've nothing else to report, so I might as well close down for now. The GoPro is still, <laughs> I'm still on the study books for that. I have a connection now that I can tie it onto the quad actually, and there's a yoke to go around your head, and a remote control for your, I'll show it to you now, it's in my pocket. So I'm not lying, there you go now. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I will figure it out though. It's getting the SD card, the memory card, out from this and into the laptop and upload it. Or just press go on this phone and be done with it. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. I will use it probably for special kind of recording if I have something to record that's special. <laughs> or uh, I'll just get an upgraded phone and get a real good camera on the phone and work it like this. There's no harm in this, I suppose. Is that me you want to be looking at only the cattle? So that is the story. We're nine minutes in. I'll add this to yesterday's video. The sun is shining. It's that bit milder. I would say there's even still a bit of a growth. We had great growth up to the Christmas. It was stunted with the cold weather, but there's warmth in that sun. I can find it. And them clear skies are absolutely beautiful. We have this now for the next week or ten days, anyhow. I half predicted it. So on that note, on the 8th of January, I will say good luck and goodbye.